we're talking with uh, Will Rottenberg, who has uh, opened up uh, Red Mountain Foods here in Tom's Markets. Correct. And it's, uh, we've only been around a month, but uh, kind of unique uh, process here. You're kind of bringing culinary cuisine, right? quality, quality cuisine to kind of a, kind of a, to the, a typical place. Maybe to, you can talk a little bit to about the deli, you. To the deli we're bringing it, right. All right. A little I, bit about your background. Right. I am a culinary school trained chef. I've worked for large organizations such as uh, the Palace, where I co-ran one of their uh, cafes. Fresh soups daily, those kind of things. Everything from scratch, quality ingredients, top quality products. That's what we're going for here. So I'm bringing some of those experiences here. I am local, been here over 20 years. I'm uh, just trying to bring some of that experience here to this area. We're making all of our own sauces, dressings, and we have unique and different breads like cherry walnut bread, I have apple walnut bread, and we're trying to keep things changing all the time. So our base menu of sandwiches, if you see our menu, is not rather large, and that's intentional because that way it leaves us open to run specials every day, different specials all the time. We just ran the apple walnut bread with ham, Swiss romaine, and apple butter, and that went over really well. So we may be adding that. So those are the ways we can test things and add them to our menus. And we also do soups daily. Soups change every two days. Today we're doing French onion and we have chili available every day. Uh, the interesting part is you're in Tom's Market which is kind of right across the street from A&W. Right, exactly. And kind of a secret for the moment but somebody right. brought me a sandwich the other day and it was like, what the heck? What this is this? I mean it was really right. good. Right. I mean, I a little mean, bit different. Which one did you try? I don't remember what it was but it, the, it was just... The quality. Yeah. What it we're was, talking about. The quality. It was a sandwich is a sandwich but it was like Wow, this right. is really ab and that's above it. and beyond. Right, and that's what we're going for. And I guess at the back of Tom's Market, we don't expect that culinary experience. Is right. Kind of the point. Uh, being local and being a customer of Tom's for many years, I uh, was coming in and they had not been using this deli area for quite some time. And just discussions began, talked about uh, running the space from them and giving this a shot. So I've been catering for several years um, with Red Mountain Foods, my own catering company. And we were just looking for a place to be inside all the time instead of out at outdoor events all the time. But we do also uh, have a commercial smoker and a commercial grill. And the state of Michigan um, has approved us to grill and smoke outside. So we do bring those up here from time to time. Okay. Um, well, you said you're local? Correct. So you've been around the area, so obviously you know the area. For over 20 years, yep, absolutely. Um, it's, maybe talk about, uh, talk about your hours. Let's start with that. When are okay, you open? Okay, great. Um, we are only closed on Sundays. So we're open daily, except for Sunday, and we're open from 10 to 6. We have uh, top quality meats, fresh deli cuts, along with our sandwiches and cheeses. What do you, what's, what's your favorite? What do you like to cook? What's, what's your specialty? Uh, you know, it really changes all the time, because I've been in this field for a while. Um, you know, I go, I go through phases where I'm into the Italian, I'm into some of the French cooking, then I'm into the healthy cooking. I also love to bake, you know, so that's also another piece of it. Subway's made a fortune, obviously, on selling sandwiches, which is the market that you're, sort of the niche that you're kind of... Sure. What, what makes a good sandwich? I guess that's the first question. Uh, I think all of us have had sandwiches from, you know, various places when I talk about any other businesses. But uh, my experience has been when I get a sandwich and I get a lot of bread or a whole lot of lettuce and nothing else, then I feel like, well, if I wanted a salad, I'd order a salad. So what really makes it great, I think, are the homemade dressings, uh, like our house-made honey mustard. It's fantastic. Gentleman just bought one of those just now. Uh, Russian dressings, homemade Thousand Island. Those are the kind of things that make it, that really bring it home. And then all of our sandwiches are, are bountiful. Each sandwich has four ounces of meat, no matter what it is, along with the cheeses and, of course, the lettuces and things like that. Do different... I believe that food is chemistry, that cooking is chemistry. Sure, absolutely. Things, obviously, things go together, and there's a lot of evidence now that, you know, people are looking at food, sauces, those kinds of things, the way a chemist might mixing up a compound. Right. Because not everything mixes together, obviously. Right, and consistency is very important. Yeah. Well. Is, is it true with sandwiches? Does, does certain meats go with other certain meats? Sure, absolutely. Is it a personal taste, or is it something that, that obviously, you know, guys I, in the business do what they want? I think it's a, it's your personal twist and knowing what, what things you can put together that might seem unusual, but then people try it, they're very surprised and enjoy it. Salami and bologna doesn't sound like it would taste good together. Eh, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of bologna. No, I, I get that. I get that. <laughs> but I see what you mean. What's your best sandwich? Uh, 
right now, I think our best sandwich is our number one, which is our corned beef with our creamy coleslaw, Russian dressing, and Swiss on an onion roll. And then another top seller is uh, our cranberry walnut bread with turkey, Swiss, romaine, and our house-made honey mustard. Again, see the dressings keep shining through. And then we also have our number three, which is spinach and ricotta grilled cheese. Very popular sandwich. What's a typical price for a sandwich? I mean, we can talk about prices. Uh, the grilled cheese, $4.99, and typically most of the other sandwiches are $5.99. With some of the specialty breads, take the sandwich up to 6 The highest one we have is $7. Which is considerably less than most of the other area stores. Right, absolutely. And they're not getting what you're offering. Correct. Which I think is something that's interesting. Right. Uh, word of mouth is everything, and sometimes in business, and you're kind of in a corner, and you came by to us by word of mouth. That's fantastic. Uh, from that perspective, just because it was like... Yeah, as I said earlier, the food is, was really good. Um, I'm obviously, this enhances Tom's. Right. I would think the traffic would be good for both of you guys. Definitely some built-in foot traffic. It's a win-win for both of us. It's kind of out of the way. Is that, is that something, that, I mean, obviously that's something you got to overcome. Sure, we, we certainly thought about that. Um, having the space available, having the equipment here was a great way to get started. So we think, uh, you know, with the word of mouth, getting the, getting the word out there, getting people to get a chance to try the product, they're going to come back. We already have a lot of repeat customers. And not too long from now, the snow flies, you'll be open, and the and w across the street will be closed. All right. Your hours, again, to be real specific? 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, except Sundays. We are closed on Sundays. And your phone number? 248-388-0740. you have a website? I do. All right. Yeah. Please talk about your website. Our website focuses mainly on our catering. It's www.redmountainfood.com. And there's a lot of pictures on there. There's a sample menu. There's a contact us page. Uh, it's all about elegant catering. Talk about your catering business because I think if it's an extension of your sandwiches, uh, I'm going to right. marry you. Okay, right. Well, we really started off with uh, focusing on weddings and things like that. And our catering business has spun into a lot of graduation parties, again, weddings, other types of parties. And we do even smaller things like um, meat and cheese trays, whatever the case may be. I've done uh, caterings for assisted living homes when they have special events things like that uh, so going going really well we're open to anything and uh, like any prices are all over the whatever you need yeah it really depends, it depends, depends on what, you, what need. you need and for how many people we price it out per person okay now you said you're going to show us something cool with an onion <laughs> well i had to cut some onion for my italians anyway so we we're going to go ahead and just cut some up real quick okay you can kind of watch this a little bit it should I did this once before, and they, when they did it, they like were tight on it, and it, it looks really cool. Gloves? Absolutely. Especially the health, health department. Anytime uh, you're dealing with the food that's a ready to eat food, you should you should be wearing gloves. How often do you change your gloves in a day? Oh, I can tell you how many Lots. times. A lot of times. Yeah. A lot of hand washing, a lot of changing gloves. All right. All right. We're done. How sharp is that knife got to be? Uh, very. That's <laughs> <laughs> the least, right? All the knives are very sharp. Okay. Uh, but again, tool of the trade. It's, it's important to have knife skills. Is there anything you could, any secrets that you could give to somebody who wants to make a sandwich at home? Uh, I really believe in uh, top quality product, top quality end result. So I would say quality meats, quality cheeses, fresh breads, and experiment a little bit. Think about what you like. Mix it up. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.
hands off which